Hi everyone, this is Dirk. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm very excited because this year is the Wheelite Ninja 400 Mark II. It is by far the brightest and best studio light I've ever owned. It is a 150 watt COP LED video light. It comes in a super practical carrying case that also gives room for very curious cats. Included in the box is a basic reflector that is great if you're looking to bundle your light for a spotlight. However, you will have to deal with harsh shadows unless you're bouncing the light off a wall or the ceiling back to your subject. You can control the light from a separate unit and what makes it so special that it has its own dedicated clamp with a quick release. So here it snaps right in. The control unit is connected via a DMX cable directly to the light and that gives you so much more flexibility. Because when your light is up here, you still can control it very conveniently directly from here. You can also control this unit with the included remote control, which is nice. And it also works seamlessly with the Wheelite app. Like all the Wheelites, no connecting or no network adjustments needed. You just plug it in, turn it on, and it works. You can adjust the brightness and of course also the color temperature. And if you want, you can also control effects through the app. The color temperature goes from 2800 Kelvin, which is a very yellowish light, till 6800 Kelvin, a very bluish light. You can adjust the brightness in 1% increments from 0 to 100%. This is the light set to only 2%, so it is by far the brightest light I've ever owned. It has a brightness of 16,700 lux at 1 meter distance, that is about 3.3 feet away. We're using the included reflector and the light is set to only 1% brightness. You can see the harsh shadow right behind me. So to soften that up, I purchased a softbox, a 65 centimeter softbox from Vlight and I'm going to attach it now to show you how nice of a light you can produce. The Wheelite Ninja 400 has a Bowens mount that allows you to add all kinds of light transformers or diffusers. It's very simple. You just put it in, turn it around and it snaps right in. If you want to change them, you pull this back and then you take it out. That's all. Now I don't have an additional light source. This is how it would look. And now I'm turning on the Wheelite and let me reduce the brightness a little bit and also change the mood. We're going to 4300 Kelvin. This is how it would look when I'm facing the Wheelite Ninja 400 with a 65 centimeter softbox attached. If you have only one light and you are in an interview-like situation, this is a typical light setup that you're positioning your softbox about 45 degrees from the subject and of course a little bit higher above the subject's head. This should make it look a bit more interesting. This was a little photo shoot with Leon's girlfriend, Chloe. Important to mention is that the built-in fan is so quiet, so it's absolutely not a problem for your production. If you still think the fan is too loud, which I doubt, there is a button here and you can set it to quiet. In this case, you can only use 50% of the power. There's another super important feature of the Wheelite Ninja 400 Mark II. It is completely flicker free and I tried to push it to its limits. But no matter if I shot with a 30th of a second or a 1000th of a second, there was absolutely no flickering. And that's great news for photographers and videographers. Wheelite did it again. The finishes are amazing and the quality is truly extraordinary. But I'd like to know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching this and tune in soon again. Bye for now.